Hey guys, it's Rich, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, main timber framer. Hey, we're just putting together the smart bench. Uh, I made another purchase here. You'll see over here, uh, we got a big old four inch dust collector, uh, dust shoe for the Yeti. I just got done putting that on. And this is really the first time firing this machine up after I've got that on. And I'm not making any, any uh, components or anything at this point in time, just kind of run it through the paces. So let's take a look. This is what the control panel looks like right here. And uh, you got a couple settings here. You got this uh, little rabbit, which is a giddy up, or you've got a little turtle. So if you push the button here, you can see Away she goes. How about uh, how about we put it in the giddy up mode? See what happens. Oh yeah, look at this baby go. If you want to bring it forward, if you want to bring it back, she can giddy up. So this is like I said, just got done putting it together. So just kind of run it through the paces a little bit to see if it works, does what it's supposed to. Uh, so, so far, so good, working pretty well. I uh, thought I'd just give this a quick, uh, quick video to show you what it's all about. And again, with the control panel. And what we're hoping to do is make a few signs with this. I actually got a couple orders to, uh, to make some cabinets with this. So we're gonna look at cutting out some uh, plywood boxes for this. We'll still use uh, some of the other joinery techniques we're using here with the panel router and so forth on the cabinets. But this is what we've uh, what we've got. This is what it looks like. I still have dust collection to put up. What I'll end up doing here, let me sh show it up above here. I'm going to put a festoon cable up here. I've got a dust collector which is right around the corner here. So we'll run the dust we'll run the dust chute across the top on a slide so that way it can follow the machine but not get in the way. And the old dust collector for this um, was this big. And what I didn't want to do, and I read some articles there, is that you get a lot of chip buildup depending on if you're using an upcut, downcut, or a compression cut, and that will foul uh, some of the wood you're working on. So that was the original dust collector. Just got putting on this big old rascal four inch. So I think starting out right out of the gate, we're going to get a better result with with respect to chip collection and less fouling. So that's the whole idea. All right. So there's a there's a quick view of the Yeti Smart Bench. Uh, going to do some CNC routing. Uh, give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.